In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, in order to prepare ourselves in a worthy manner, let us recall to our minds our faults and failures. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your Spirit, O Lord, we pray, imbue us powerfully with spiritual gifts that, we may give, that He may give us a mind pleasing to you and graciously confirm us to your will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Arts of the Apostles. Since the tribune wanted to know what precise charge the Jews were bringing against Paul, he freed him and gave orders for a meeting of the chief priests and the entire Sanhedrin. Then he brought Paul down and stood him in front of them. Now Paul was well aware that one section was made up of Sadhudes and the other Pharisees. So he called out in the Sanhedrin, Brothers, I am a Pharisee and the son of Pharisees. It is for our hope in the resurrection of the dead that I am on trial. As soon as he said this, a dispute broke out between the Pharisees and the Sadhudas. And the assembly was split between the two parties. For the Sadhus say there is neither resurrection nor angel nor spirit, while the Pharisees accept all three. The shouting grew louder, and some of the scribes from the Pharisees' party stood up and protested strongly. We find Nothing wrong with this man. Suppose a spirit was spoken to him or an angel. Feeling was running high, and the tribune averred that they would tear Paul to pieces, ordered his troops to go down and haul him out and bring him into the fortress. Next night, the Lord appeared to him and said, Courage! You have borne witness for me in Jerusalem. Now you must do the same in Rome. The word of the Lord. Preserve me, Lord, I take refuge in you. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. I said to the Lord, you are my God. O oh Lord, it's you who are my portion and cup. It's you yourself who are my prize. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel, who even at night directs my heart. I keep the Lord ever in my sight. Since he is at my right hand, I shall stand firm. And so my heart rejoices, my soul is glad. Even my body shall rest in safety, for you will not leave my soul among the dead, nor let your beloved nor decay. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence. At your right hand, happiness forever.
Alleluia. With me in them and you in me, may they be so completely one that the world will realize that it was you who sent me, says the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. You, Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Holy Father, I pray not only for these, but for those who through their words will believe in me. May they all be one. Father, may they be one in us as you are in me and I am in you so that the world may believe it was you who sent me. I have given them the glory you gave to me, that they may be one as we are one. With me in them and you in me, may they be so completely one that the world will realize that it was you who sent me and that I have loved them as much as you loved me. Father, I want those you have given me to be with me where I am, so that they may always see the glory you have given me, because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Father, righteous one, the world has not known you, but I have known you, and these have known that you have sent me. I have made your name known to them, and will continue to make it known, so that the love with which you loved me may be in them, and so that I may be in them. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, we have heard the famous saying, United we stand, divided we fall. Today in the scripture reading in the gospel, we hear very clearly that Jesus is talking about unity among ourselves. We are all united in Christ our Lord, but unity is our witness. Today, Jesus is also thanking the Father for the gift of you and me, that has been to Jesus. What kind of a gift are we? Are we really rising up to the expectation of Jesus? If not, we can always work towards it. We have to work towards becoming better human beings and better Christians who after the, Christ, after the heart of our Lord Jesus Christ so as gifts to God, let us improve the quality of our living. Let us improve the quality of our believing. And let us improve the quality of our giving. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine to offer, which earth has given, human hands have made. It will become for us a spiritual drink. Blessed be Lord, Lord God, we ask you, please, with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite heart, Lord, wash away my sins and cleanse me from all my sins. Blessed 
Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Your heart Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with the paschal joy, every land, every people, exult in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our, Paul, our Pope, Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy and the laity. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, we pray, enlighten us by the instructions they bring and restore us through our participation in them that we may merit the gifts of the Spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord, and God bless your day.